the world speed record set by Malcolm Campbell in the 30s is very much the inspiration behind this vehicle. He represents that inimitable pioneering spirit of that era. They wanted to go further, go beyond. Bluebird was about pushing the boundaries, and that's something that we at Rolls-Royce tried to do. With this car, we were able to go further with certain features than we've gone before and create some new features. Our approach to this car is mimicking the mindset of these great pioneers, the Campbell family. It's a very much a forward-thinking concept. But in the same way as the Bluebird team used absolutely the most modern materials available to them, we've done the same thing. You see through the technical engineered features and engineer look on elements of the car that we've very much delivered something that is absolutely contemporary. Steel itself was used extensively on these groundbreaking crafts, so we wanted metal to be the dominant application. We have brushed steel, which we've used on the bonnet before, but on the case of the water speed collection, we've taken it along the flanks of the car and then around the deck. With the exterior paint on this exclusive collection car, we have taken inspiration from the blue waters of the northern Italian lake, Lake Maggiore, on which Malcolm Campbell broke his first water speed record. The R engine that was always used in the Bluebird crafts uh, was painted in blue, and this was to draw attention to them as the, the soul, the, the power within. What you will find as a Rolls-Royce first is on opening the bonnet that the whole engine bay is painted in the same Maggiore blue. It's also applied to the wheels. So we have fully polished wheels, but there is an accent with the same Maggiore blue. As you open the doors of the car, you'll see that at the end of the armrest, there's a beautiful engraving of a bluebird. It was something we focused huge design efforts on to get absolutely right, to ensure that there was the right level of tactile appreciation. The interior has that lovely sense of crafted excellence. Like the clock, for example, where we develop a brand new clock purely for this car. The little infinity symbol is something that we picked up off the Bluebird craft. For the steering wheel, we drew a design parallel with that of the treatment on both Bluebird K3 and K4, with, which both had blue steering wheels. As a Rolls-Royce first, we are introducing a two-tone accent steering wheel with this car. Looking at the instrument gauges, we have a blue zone. Now, this is a direct reference to the Bluebird team and the instruments on the boat and the expression going into the blue, which means going into the power zone. I think Charles Wells would have loved this vehicle. I think he would have been fully in tune with Sir Malcolm Campbell's spirit of endeavour. We have you know, beautiful design aesthetic combined with engineering excellence and innovation, as well as the craftsmanship so associated with Rolls-Royce motor cars. Those things as a whole have created this wonderful car and a wonderful story.